All right, kids, what do we have here? We have a two column proof and a whole lot of blanks to fill in. A whole lot of them. In a previous video, I gave you all the statements and I had to give you all the reasons. Well, now we're everywhere. And what I have here is a bunch of angles glued together. I have a straight line here. I got what looks like it could be a right angle, but I don't know. I got these angles are next to each other. Anything could happen. But what it's telling me to write off the bat is angle AEB, which is one, two, three, is complementary to angle BEC. So angle AEB is complementary to BEC. Let's get started. Uh, oh, and what I have to show is I have to show that the measure of angle AED, which is U, is 90 degrees. So got a lot of work to do. Step number one is always your given. So there you have it. Step number one, AEB is a complement of BEC. That was my given. My reason is given 90% of the time, 99% of the time, your first step in a two column proof is going to be your given. So let's not burn too much brain energy on that. Step two, statement two is, I don't know, but it says the reason is definition of complementary angles. What does complementary angles mean? Two angles that add up together. Oh, so what they might want us to say is by definition of complementary angles, the measure of angle AEB plus the measure of angle BEC is going to be 90 degrees. All right, I can handle that. Uh, measure of angle AEC is equal to the measure of angle AEB plus a measure of angle BEC. Okay, well, what's AEC? All right, this whole thing right there. And that's the measure of angle AEB plus the measure of angle BEC. Oh, I see. They want me to show that this whole thing is that guy plus that guy. Well, whenever we add two angles together, the reason why we're allowed to add those angles together is because of the angle addition postulate. In a previous video, you saw me do segment addition postulate, and then I said, later, we're going to do angle addition postulate. Well, here we are later. I hope you're watching all the videos. Otherwise, none of this made sense. But angle addition postulate is a rule that says, hey, uh, you're allowed to say that one whole angle is equal to two angles added together. The measure of angle AEC is 90 degrees. Now, that's because... The measure of angle AEC is 90 degrees. Now, usually when we get to a part where we look up here and we don't see a whole lot, we're trying to piece two previous pieces of information together. I see a 90 degrees up here. I don't see any 90 degrees in my given. I don't see any 90 degrees on my picture. And you're not allowed to go from your proof. So I have to look at previous information. And I see that 90 degrees lives up here in step two. Let me give you a circle. Also, the measure of angle AEC is right here. Oh. AEB, BEC, AEB, BEC. I know the measure of angle AEB plus the measure of angle BEC is 90 degrees because if I were to say that guy equals 90 and that guy also equals AEC, then AEC equals 90. This is the substitution property. And if you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Let me explain it again. Let me explain it again. If I gave you a problem that was like A equals B and B equals C, I'm allowed to say A equals C because if A is B and B is C, well then B, these guys are the same thing too. So 90 equals A, B, B, C. A, E, C equals A, B, B, E, C. So since A, E, C equals 90, that's because we just replaced that guy and that guy with each other. Okay, substitution property.
Now we're down to the measure of angle AED plus the measure of angle AEC equals 180 degrees by the definition of supplementary angles. So even though I don't say supplementary up here, I see that all of this gives me a perfectly straight line. So they're saying, well, let's just add AED, which is U, and AEC, which is U, and make it 180. My next step is to do the substitution property of equality. So what they want me to do is they want me to replace something up here so that I can go from five to seven. Now, if I just said something about AEC equaling 90 degrees and I see AEC appear and I kind of don't want it to be there anymore because it's now gone in seven, why don't I just replace AEC with 90? the measure of angle AED plus 90 equals 180 degrees. Now that is substitution because I substituted 90 for AEC. My last step is to go from AED plus 90 equals 180 to just get rid of that 90 and make it 90 over here. How do I do that? Well, if I subtract 90 from both sides, then AED equals 90 if I just subtract 90 from both sides. So what am I gonna do? The subtraction property of equality. Subtraction, ugh, looks terrible. Property of equality. And so there's my proof. Okay, this is still like an introduction to two column proof. So again, you're going to see me filling a whole lot of blanks, but this used a lot of angles and a lot of reasons, but a lot of angle addition problems and a lot of se uh, segment addition proofs are going to involve you like adding stuff, substituting information, and probably doing some kind of solving an equation type thing, which is exactly what we did here. It's just this one was a lot more involved than my previous video if you watch that. But we're on our way, not easy stuff. That's why this is called gross geometry because it's not that much fun, unless you're sick, in which case gross geometry should be right up your alley.